Hi, good morning. This is Robin Brainbar and you're watching Walks with God. And today, God is taking me in a direction to share with you a recent experience I've had. Um, the Bible tells us to raise the dead, heal the sick, cast out demons, cleanse leopards, and preach the gospel to the poor. And so, uh, I've been to the funeral home and to different places to raise the dead. Uh, six times I've had the opportunity to raise people from the dead. And I'm working on it and practicing it and, and believing for people to raise from the dead. And just recently, I've had a friend that I've known for about seven years uh, die unexpectedly. And I didn't know whether I, I couldn't decide whether to call him back from the dead or to let him go. And there was two reasons for that. Number one is the way that he died destroyed a lot of his body. And if I had called him back in my mind was that I had to not only call him back from the dead, but I had to have faith and belief for him to have everything he needed and everything working the right way. And God told me that when somebody is so injured or so sick that they're dead, it doesn't matter how they died, that when you call him back, that person back, that the resurrection power in you will make them whole and complete. So I thought that was something that we need to know. And he said in this end times that we would have resurrection power. And that's part of the end time revival is having resurrection power and raising the dead. So back to my story. This per person who had died, I uh, decided, well, they had a lifestyle. I hadn't seen them for a while. And from what I knew from friends and relatives, that their lifestyle wasn't exactly very godly. I didn't want this person to be in hell. So what I did was we had a women's retreat at church yesterday and at the women's retreat at the women's minister ministry I was just praising and worshiping the Lord and I just all of a sudden got a great boldness in me and I started calling this person's name and calling them back and and at the same time I was singing in the spirit and praising and worshiping in the spirit singing in the spirit and calling out their names speaking life into their body calling them commanding them come back in their body when all of a sudden God allowed me blessed me with this awesome privilege I heard this person's voice in my spirit and I knew that I, I experienced them praising and worshiping God with me it was I can't even describe it but we were both singing in the spirit and we were both praising and worshiping God together so I knew that this person was in heaven and that his praise and worship in heaven God was allowing my praise and worship to join his praise and worship and to show me that it was okay. He was in heaven and he wanted to stay there. I was really excited to know that and so are other family members and people. Uh, and someday I look forward to telling that the family members of that person. But um, I know they're without a doubt, I know they're in heaven. And it was such an awesome experience to uh, worship and praise God with somebody who just went to meet him. If hope to somebody who has recently lost a loved one and didn't know whether they went to heaven or hell. God wants me to remind you that God, while we were still sinners, God sent his son to die for us. And that if we accept him into our heart, <clears throat> that we get to go to heaven and to remind you that God is not trying to keep people out of heaven. God sent his son. He sacrificed his best thing, his son, so that we could get to heaven. So he's, he's looking for any opening, any opportunity in somebody's life to get them to heaven. And all they need to do is ask Jesus into their heart, make him Lord of their life. Now, none of us at all times live perfectly. We all mess up. And so at the last moment, at the last second, maybe your child or spouse or somebody that you loved, was not living a right life and never knew Jesus, but when they were a child in Sunday school, perhaps they heard the gospel message and asked Jesus in their heart, but never did nothing more about it. At the last second, God could have brought that back to their attention, and that could have been the opening to get into heaven, because that's the requirement. So, he wanted me to encourage anybody who lost, who recently lost loved ones or are struggling with them, not knowing if they're in heaven or hell, God wants me to tell you that he's looking for opportunities, that when somebody dies, looking for ways to, to get them to heaven um, so that they can spend eternity with him instead of eternity apart from his presence and in hell. So I hope that's encouraging to you.